What did you think of her apology today? I think it was just words. That there was no feeling behind it, no emotion behind it. All she said was she's sorry. It, it doesn't it doesn't make up for what she did. I really want the long term uh, the Ministry of Long Term Care to act immediately. Don't wait for an inquiry, you know, don't wait years and potentially spend millions of tax tax payer dollars um, on an inquiry that won't really result in, in change in the change that's needed immediately. I do not accept her nor will I ever accept her apology ever. I will not forgive, and I hail, I will not forget. She's getting what she deserves in some way. I, I mean, I, I, she's being taken out of society. That's all I can we, we can hope for. Um, I was kind of hoping for at least one consecutive so that we make sure she doesn't ever get any parole, but I don't think she's ever going to see freedom again. I don't know. I can't say her name all the time. I don't know how to say her name. But anyway, she described my grandmother as fun and feisty and and she was fun and feisty exactly like I said and, but she was very uh, a lady of dignity as well and she um, always said there's so much positive things in life and even just the spin on being there because when she first got there obviously she hated it she was one of the oldest ones there and the first thing she said to me was Debbie I don't like it here there's a lot of old people and but she she made it nice for everybody there and, and we hated that she was there that we didn't nobody had any choice but to have her there and we hope if anything comes out of this that 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 will change that the government will see the people that haven't got money don't have to be thrown into a place like that where four women have to live in the same room for the remainder of their lives and worry about what kind of care they're going to get.